When you're looking for new trumpets to buy and you want to figure out what makes one trumpet different than another or what makes one unique or special, you could go to the manufacturer's website and you could look it up and see what the manufacturer has to say. For example, we have this Model 401 Shire C trumpet and it talks here about the bore and it talks about the bell and the lead pipe and the tuning slide and you can even see that the lower valve caps are made of nickel silver and all of that sounds really amazing but it's sometimes it's hard to know what it means. How does this help the instrument play better? Some advice I've been given by people who help others test horns and who know what they're talking about is to say actually to forget all of this stuff just to focus on how it sounds. Does it create the sound that you want to hear when you play your instrument? Although the sound is super important I'd argue there's another really obvious thing that's really important when choosing an instrument and that's going to be the price. Now you might think that a more expensive horn will have a better sound or be easier to play or have better intonation than a less expensive horn but I don't necessarily think that's the case and to demonstrate that point in this video I'm going to compare a Stombi S3 B flat trumpet with my own Yamaha Gen 3 New York B flat trumpet. So looking here on Houghton Horn's website we can see that this Yamaha Gen 3 B flat trumpet that I'm talking about is almost $5,000 and if we search instead for Stombi we can see that this S3 Big Bell B flat trumpet uh, I have the silver plated one over here is $2,750. As you can see one of these instruments is about half the price of the other instrument so let's find out how these two horns compare against each other. So my first notes on the S3 uh, felt pretty good. I felt it was super even. The upper register was really easy to get to. Felt like it was singing out. And then the short little articulation thing I played uh, didn't feel like there was any issues. The response was right there. I didn't feel like anything was hard to do. Again, evenness kind of really jumped out at me. Uh, compared to my Yamaha, I feel like the Yamaha just has a little bit more maybe brilliance to the sound, but there's a lot about the S3 that I really like, and so I'm excited to dive into some melodies now to see how that feels. So after playing those melodies, I really feel that the Stambi is still holding up quite well compared to my Yamaha. Uh, my Yamaha, I feel the sound is uh, fairly compact. It's very focused, I feel like. Uh, the Stambi feels a little bit bigger, a little bit more open or wide, if that's a way to describe it. 
Um, personally, I'm trying to get more focus into my playing, so I feel the Yamaha helps me do that. But the Stomvi feels great. It feels super even from top to bottom, so playing those melodies feels just as much uh, as a sort of a voice to me as my Yamaha does in that respect. So now I want to play some musical material that's going to test the edges of these instruments. Try to test the upper register, the lower register, some of the dynamic range and things like that. I just want to see when you kind of push these instruments, how do they respond? To be honest, after playing those examples just now, I don't feel like these horns are really that far apart. I do find myself gravitating more towards my Yamaha still because of the focus and the brilliance in the sound, but the Stomvi was still able to make a huge, big, full, meaty sound on the Artunian and in the low register on the Shostakovich. And to be honest, it actually felt a little bit better than my Yamaha in the upper register on the West Side Story. It's just pretty amazing to me that this horn is able to hold up against my Yamaha, which is almost double the price. It feels great to play, it's even, it's easy. In order to finish this test off, I'm gonna play one longer section of music and I'm not going to say which horn it is. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb and EQ to it to make them sound as good as I possibly can and then we'll just let you decide if you can hear the difference.
So I think that these horns uh, ended up stacking up against each other pretty well. Even though I preferred my Yamaha, the Stomvi was still a great instrument. And for half the price, if you aren't looking for specifically what a Yamaha has to offer, you might end up checking out the Stomvi. There's a long list of great players who play Stomvi, and so you'd be in good company if you checked this horn out. If you need help in figuring out what kind of horn you might wanna check out, you can head to HoutonHorns.com. They have virtual consultations, or you can just email them, and they have expertise to be able to help you find exactly what's gonna fit you the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate if you would like the video and subscribe to Houghton Horns channel, and leave a comment down below of what you thought about the instruments. Which one did you prefer on which excerpts? And uh, we just wanna hear from you and what you think. I've done a number of other trumpet reviews on this channel, so if you haven't seen any of those, go check those out, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.